I've done so, lots of simulated uh, human torso uh, ballistics tests, and I think that's more meaningful than anything else. But uh, I thought it'd be interesting to try to get a little bit of slow uh, motion video of what each of my carry rounds do in ballistics gel. So uh, basically, I'm going to be shooting the four bullets that I carry uh, most of the time in my in my various uh, concealed carry guns. First one's going to be shot, uh, going to be a Lehigh maximum expansion nine millimeter bullet shot out of the Ruger SR9C. Second one's going to be a 38 Special Plus P Maximum Expanding Bullet by Lehigh Defense, uh, fired out of my LCR 357 Magnum. Fourth bullet or third bullet I'm going to fire is going to be a Buffalo Bore 357 Magnum short barreled low flash ammo fired out of my LCR 357 Magnum. And I'm going to straighten up my block here. Okay, and the last bullet I'm going to fire is uh, the 45 Colt Judge slash Governor Lehigh Defense Maximum Expansion Bullet. Uh, and this is fired out of my uh, Smith & Wesson Governor. All right, now let's take a look at the ballistics and see what we got. Okay, in order fired, uh, top left here was the 9mm Lehigh Maximum Expanding Bullet. Second one was the 38 Special Plus P Lehigh Defense Maximum Expansion Bullet. Top right was the 357 Magnum by Buffalo Bore, the short barrel 357 Magnum low flash load. And the, and the, the, and the lower left is the is the 45 Colt Judge Governor Lehigh Defense Maximum Expanding Bullet. I apologize that my gel block's uh, cloudy. Uh, it means I got I had some water in it still when I melted it down. Uh, but let's just uh, hopefully we can see a little bit. Okay, this is uh this is the nine millimeter Lehigh Defense. See how see how wide that mushroomed out right in the beginning of the area. 
This top one right here is a 357 Magnum. Uh, wouldn't expect it to. Uh, it doesn't. It does not hop, uh, expand out as much as the maximum expanding bullets. But if you if you follow that track, that's only one that penetrates the full uh, gel block. If you see that with that the 357 Magnum went all the way through the block. That's the reason I sometimes carry that load is because uh, it's a deep penetrating round. Uh, if I if I ever needed to get into a situation where I needed to penetrate car doors and that kind of stuff, then I'd use that 357 Magnum round. You see the the bottom the bottom right track here. That's the Lehigh de defense uh, 45 Colt uh, Judge Governor. Look how goddamn wide that wound track is. It's just massive. Look in comparison to the 357 Magnum. Look at it. Uh, I'll, I'll measure these out in a little bit, uh, but uh, penetrated fairly good for as big an ass damn bullet as what it is. Okay, now coming from this side, the top one here is the Lehigh nine millimeter, nine millimeter uh, maximum expanding bullet. As you can see, that thing blossomed out huge during that track penetrated three quarters of the way through the fbi uh, gel block uh and here again I'll, I'll make the measurements of how deep all these went uh very nice expansion i, I think you can see why i chose the the lehigh maximum expanding bullet for my nine millimeter carry it just has such a great wound path all the way down to about eight inches or so uh that just cuts the hell out of the tissue uh, the bottom one is the 38 Special Plus P round by uh, uh, Lehigh Defense. Uh, it makes a pretty good wound path, but if you can see, it doesn't it doesn't quite match the nine millimeter. Uh, but it does. This one did go a lot deeper. I think that's because one of them pedals didn't expand. Uh, hmm, that's interesting. Usually, them pedals in the 38 Special Plus P's expand like that. Then it would have done about similar damage. So in this test. Uh, it looks like the 38 Special Plus P did not expand all the pedals correctly, but it still cut pretty good wound path there. So, in any event, but even from the top, I think you can see that bottom 45 Colt Judge Governor Ram. That's the one I feel most confident with. If that sucker hits anybody in the chest, they're going down. Uh, nine millimeter, I'd say, is my second most comfortable. And then, then either the 38 Special Plus P or the 38 uh, or the 357 Magnum is. Uh, when I'm carrying my 357 Magnum, I carry uh, some of the, the deep penetrating 357 Magnum rounds and some of the, the 38 Special Plus P rounds. That way I have the capability of having a deep penetrating round plus a, a, an expanding round uh, all in the same, in the same, um, in the same load on my gun.